Hi guys and welcome to the September 2019 temperature blanket update. So it took me a while to get, finally get September done. I definitely let myself get distracted and just didn't want to catch up on the blanket. So I'm playing major catch up. I had to play major catch up. But that's okay. I hope that if you're doing a blanket, you're not getting discouraged if you get behind and just realize, just pick a day or two and try to get caught up. It's okay if you've missed some days. You go at your own pace. I tend to try to get it done each month done within the first week of the next month so I can do these updates. But if you're doing it on your own, you don't have to worry about a deadline for when you have to get it done. So I hope you're still kind of getting motivated by these videos and you're still plugging along if you're making one or if you haven't made one, one that you're kind of using these videos for inspiration of how the process is actually going to be when you do decide to tackle one. And again, you could tackle it anytime. You can tackle it now up until next September or October. You could do a certain year, maybe one birthday to the next birthday of your life. You could do a baby's first year of life you can do from January to December there's a lot of different things you can kind of choose to do for your temperature blanket don't feel like you have to start in January and go to December I just wanted to put that out there again I know I mentioned that before but here it is my September 2019 temperature blanket update as you can see I saw a lot of green in September which means it was in the 60s a lot the red indicates the weather that was in the 70s and very close to the top I'm going to zoom in here for you to see I had a little bit of purple which means I had a little bit of let me make sure I'm 50 degree weather. I had to check and make sure it wasn't 40. But when I looked at my October temperatures I've already taken because I've got to start in October, I'm going to be putting some 40 degree weather in here and some light green for the 40s. So I like the fact that I'm going to start seeing some different colors again. I was getting kind of bored doing the green. So if I ever do this again, I may break the temperature increments into five degrees of separations instead of like almost 10, just so I can maybe have a little more variety in the month, but we'll see. It will be a while before I tackle one of these again. But again, this is gonna fit on my queen size bed. I'm actually standing up this time instead of sitting down just because this blanket, I want to kind of show it a little different than I normally do. And right now, I mean, I'm holding it up to my neck pretty much and it's to the floor. So yeah, this thing is almost as tall as me. I'm five, two and a half. So it probably is as tall as me as if I could really hold it up right. And it's definitely getting some heftiness to it. So it'll be a great blanket to put on my bed in the winter. But again, September was kind of seeing a lot of 60 degrees. There wasn't a lot of difference. And the main struggle, just like always, is just keeping up with it. So I know it can get very discouraging, but I hope that if you're tackling one of these, that these videos help kind of motivate you to keep going. And if you haven't already, you can join the Temperature Blanket group on Facebook. I will probably even keep the group open even after 2019, just for anybody that wants to do one in 2020 and kind of want to look back on people's that did one in 2019 for advice and things like that. So I will keep the group kind of open past when I'm done with my blanket. I cannot wait to get this finally done in three, what, three months and be able to do the white border to hide all these stragglers on the side. I'm really looking forward to that. So again, this is my September 2019 temperature blanket update. And as you can see, there wasn't much change. Again, just a little bit of purple just before I ended the month. And I hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you plan on maybe doing one of these in the future. And I promise more loom knitting videos will be up soon. I have just been major distracted by some things going on. And when I tried to start a video to film, I just don't like the project. So I've been kind of like, nope, if I'm not feeling this project, I'm not doing it. Because you guys deserve to have videos up that you know that I want to do and not just doing because I have a video up. So yes, I've been thinking some different projects. I'm hoping I can get to them soon so that we can have some new loom knitting videos up and kind of get away from the blanket a little bit and you only have to see, hmm, October, November, December, like three more updates of this blanket and it'll be done. Just three more updates. Okay guys, I hope you have a great day. And again, I hope you tackle a temperature blanket too. Again, you can always do one just for six months if you don't want to do a year. But again, have a great day, everyone.